hope you are doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Chit Chat with Man. I'm sorry that I have been MIA for a while now because I've been busy with work, but I am back with more energy and content. Also, I will have a new short two minutes motivation segment that I will post every Monday called Pick Me Up Monday, which is now in my channel. Do check it out if you are looking for something short and motivational for your days. So today we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of co living. So recently I have been sharing my experience living here with Cove. For those of you who don't know, Cove is actually a co living company that helps you find your new home and rent it by making the whole process easier, faster and more flexible. Cove actually have many amazing places that they offer. As you can see, the place that I stay now, which is quite amazing. You can actually head down to their website at cove.sg to find out more places that they are offering. And Cove have been kind enough to offer my viewer a special promo code Cove X month that if you use for your first time rental with Cove, you'll get a huge $200 off your first month's rental. Now back to the topic of pros and cons of co living in Singapore. These are the considerations that I made when I choose to live in a co living. Let me start with the pros first. Pro number one, space. So the first pros of living here is definitely the space. The place that I'm in now is actually a castle home that have high ceiling with floor to ceiling windows and that lets in a lot of natural light and also give you the feeling of spaciousness. It also helps that the place is very nicely decorated so I feel like I'm living in a holiday villa every day. And there's so many places to hang out in, in the house. I can relax on the living room, on the rocking chair, working from the dining room with the view of the pool whenever I look out. I have a poolside veranda if I want to breathe some fresh air. This is why during the Singapore Phase 2 heightened alert where we are not allowed to dine outside, I have been able to stay inside this house for 15 consecutive days without going out. I just grab my food or get my groceries from Panda Mart and I can survive here totally fine because there is a lot of space for me to feel good. And if I want some privacy, I can just go back to my room where I can chill like now. Pro number two is the leasing. Normally, co living lease is shorter at around three months. This is good if you are uncertain about your future plans and provide a very good flexibility in your plans. So after the three months is due, you can do a monthly renewal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Who made me say this? Who? You! You make me say this. Ugh. So the third pro is the convenience. Besides Wi-Fi, utilities, and housekeeping of common areas, yay, I don't need to wash the toilets. I really hate cleaning. Your rental also includes facilities and the amenities available, depending on the type of property that you settle on. There might be a rooftop hangout place, a pool, a gym, or even sauna if you're lucky. As for the amenities, the place is inclusive of washing machine, dryer, fridge, microwave, oven, plates, cups, cutleries. Everything that you need in a home is provided for. You just need to pack your suitcase and just stay here. For me personally, I enjoy using the dryer and the oven the most. Both of which is hard to find in a HDB renter. If you have stayed in a HDB before, you'll know that the drying area is generally a small little space besides the kitchen and if there is cooking when your clothes is hanging there then good luck I have a friend who stayed in a rented place where the housemaid actually makes sticks almost every night and that caused her load of laundry to always smell of the oil from the stick and she have to just wash it again and again so it doesn't make sense you wash it you put it to dry, they cook, the oil from the stick sticks to your clothes and you have to wash it again. So what I used to do previously was to go to those 24 hour laundry and dry my washing there. But now that I have the dryer here, I don't have to do that anymore. And the second one is the oven because here with the oven, we can make pizza, we can bake 
some cookies, we can bake some cake and you can even do the oven heater stuff like hash browns, uh, nuggets so this was not an option previously when I was staying in a HDB place even if that place have oven because the electricity that is used for oven is like too high consumption so normally the owner don't really allow you to use the oven so yep, these are the two amenities that I really enjoyed here the dryer and the oven so all these are inclusive in your rental so you don't have to worry about anything dryer is very very important Pro number 4 is freedom if you are renting with a house owner, the list of house rules are quite detailed and because you are staying at another person's house, it is also more restrictive. You will have rules like no or like cooking allowed, um, washing your laundry once a week, 10 hours of aircon that you can use per day and many more. Whereas living in a co-living place, you only have basic house rules like informing your housemates if you are bringing visitors, not making any noise after certain hours, and other small rules to be a considerate housemate. This translates to be more freedom to be yourself in a co-living environment. You can cook, you can bake, you can hang out in the living room or the dining area without feeling awkward. Heck, you can even take a shower in the middle of the night if you want to. These are all the pros of core living that I can think of that really matters to me after I compare with my experience in living with house owner. So let's look at some cons of core living. There's really not many cons that I can think of. I have been living here at my place for almost five months or so now and so far I have no issue at all the only con that I can think of is that if you compare to HDB rental you might be paying a higher price but if you consider the fact that it comes with all the facilities and also the vibe of the place that lets you feel like you are in a holiday which is very good for your mental health by the way this is definitely worth it all this freedom and all this space for you to be yourself and just feel relaxed is, is worth it. I just want to add one point to this special category by its own, the hit or miss category and that is the housemates. If you have housemates like those that I have now, we are pretty much chill and able to mingle around. We have a blast talking about cultures, experience and just sharing our thoughts in general. We also have home workouts and we do some cookings together. It is reassuring in a way to have someone to talk to when you are mostly working from home and especially during lockdowns. On the flip side, if you have inconsiderate housemates, you will have a miserable time arguing or staying in your room most of the time just to avoid confrontation. Overall, I have a great experience stay in a co-living place and I feel relaxed like I'm in a holiday and I have more space and freedom to do what I want when I want to. With this, we have come to the end of the video. If you have found this useful for you to decide if you should stay in a core living or not, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to use the promo code COVEXMAN if you are looking to get 200 off your first month's rental. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! I do, I do, I do, I do, I do And that is why I love this place so much, the space <laughs>